welcome to today's episode of The Buzz. We've got a great lineup in store for you guys, so make sure you stay right where you are. Coming up, we've got the cocktail king, Anthony Palmer, in the studio, where he'll be teaching Amani and I how to make a mean cocktail. And for all you chicken nugget lovers out there, <laughs> one of <laughs> our very own crew was sent to try the one and only Nugzilla Challenge. So stay tuned and see how he got on. Now we're mixing it up a bit, jumping straight into the sports section of our show. Golf is a very popular sport for dads and grandpas. <laughs> but what if I was to tell you that golf, as you know, has been completely modernised and turned into something cool and new? Well, that's exactly what Ghetto Golf here in Birmingham has done. Strictly for 18 and overs, Ghetto Golf offers an 18 mini golf course with a DJ, cocktail bar and incredible graffiti artwork. The mix of mini golf and partying has become extremely popular with students in Birmingham and has gone viral all over social media. So us here at The Buzz wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Mm. Now... It wouldn't make very good television if we sent someone who was already a mini golf pro. <laughs> so we wanted to find someone completely uncoordinated, yeah. clumsy, yeah. and overall terrible at sports. And to ask better for the job than our fan favourite, Finn, Finn the, the researcher. researcher. As if it wasn't already difficult for Finn, we decided to make it even better for you guys watching and have him take a trip to the bar beforehand. I can't see this going well at all, but here's how we got on. <laughs> I'm Finn the Researcher and I'm here at Ghetto Golf and I've been told I've got to get a bit drunk before my opponent arrives so I'm at the bar. Let's do this. What the hell is in this? I'm sure I'll get me drunk. Number two, here we go. Is this one tequila? Oh. Is this just vodka? Oh, that is not just vodka. Oh. <laughs> okay, then, guys. I am now drunk. <laughs> Let's be who I'm up against. I'm just Justina. I'm 21 years old. I'm from the Bronx, New York. I'm a TV personality and a YouTuber with over 100,000 views. Nobody is better than me. Finn better watch out, because we gonna play golf. Let's do this. <laughs> Why does it look so sad? Maybe it's because you're losing. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna be a tad bit difficult. I believe in you! Why do you have to be in the back? You're putting me off. I have fries waiting on me. You're not even playing the stupid hole. I'm not, I'm not waiting for you. I'm just gonna play on my own. Oh my gosh, that was so lit. Finn, did you? Tripping balls. Nice. This is, oh my gosh, Finn. Yeah. That's you. Pinball, can we do that one? Oh, yes, we have to do pinball. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah, boy. You're not sick of it. You're not sick of it yet. You'll be sick of it soon. Okay, then just, you know, let's finish in style. I'll take the lead. Last hole. Wait, stop. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want to go. Bye-bye. Watch this. I may have lost.
lost. That leads me to True, I smashed him. While well, you were smashed. <laughs> Sucker. I've had a lot of fun here in Gary Golf. You should try it sometime. But maybe don't hit the bar beforehand. Back to you, Amani and Abby, in the studio. <laughs> he was so drunk. I love him. He's just too funny. Yeah. And for all you Finn fans, don't worry. That won't be the last you see of him. He'll be returning later on in the show doing something you definitely don't want to miss. Now, is superheroes, villains, or dressing up as your thing, or equally, you just want to see Imani completely oh out of her comfort zone <laughs> like me, then the last month, or last month even, the highly anticipated Comic-Con came to the Birmingham NEC. Fans from across all of the country came dressed up as their favourite comic book characters, spending the weekend living out their cosplay dreams. We decided to send Imani there to go learn and experience more about it herself. Here's what went down. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm at the NEC to attend the world's most popular conventions, the Comic-Con. Last year, 34,000 people came to this event held in Birmingham. Let's go more inside and check it out. You guys are scaring me right now. Tell me, who are your characters? Um, we are... Um Pyramid Head and Silent Hill Nurse from the game of Silent Hill. Professor Bartholomew Ublek from Ruby. I'm just an elf. I'm Zombie Ariel. And I'm Ferret Bathory. I'm dressed up as the TARDIS. Um, it's just a, a blood elf demon hunter from World of Warcraft. What do your characters do in the film? Um, both characters uh, represent the fear that the main character has. He's a hyperactive professor who loves history at the Beacon Academy in, well, Ruby, and also likes dogs. I've normally done a night elf, um, so I just thought I'd do something different and do something a bit blood elf, a bit hoardy and a little bit dark. Mine's a vampire who's sort of bent on ruling the vampire world, so I wanted to go for something a bit more extravagant and different. What's your favourite superhero? Hulk. Hulk. Oh, I love the Hulk. How are you finding it so far? I find, find it all right. I'm meeting some new people and, yes, yeah, chilling. enjoying your Comic-Con experience so far? I'm having a great time. It's nice to see all the different characters from all the different films, TV characters. For the people that do not know you, can you tell us what work you've been involved with? I'm in Star Wars, I'm in The Simpsons, I'm in Three Harry Potters. Well, it has been an honour to meet you and to interview you. I hope you have a great day at Comic-Con. <laughs> I've had a great time today. For more information, visit mcmcomiccom.com. Bye for now. <laughs> Back to you, Abby. Oh, oh that looks so much fun. <laughs> did you enjoy it? Do you know what? It's something I wouldn't normally do, but yeah. I actually did love it. I would actually try and go again. I'm try. proud of you. Okay. So, changing the subject completely, we're going to talk about cocktails. That's definitely more my style. <laughs> Do you have a favourite cocktail? Purple Rain. Now, you've got to keep it simple with a mojito. Ugh. Oh, anyway, we want to hear from you. We want to hear what your favourite cocktails are. Any cocktail, oh, cocktails making missouts, anything, tweet us at the buzz underscore TV and we'll feature them later on in the show. Now, me and Abby are off to the kitchen to meet today's guest. But first, here's a little bit of a background on what he does. Put down your coffee because cocktails are the new big thing. Cocktail makers are beginning to push the limits, incorporating fire, smoke and dry ice into their amazing creations. With flavours ranging from strawberry, bubblegum and even toothpaste, cocktails can be whatever you make them. We're here now in the studio, joined by the king of cocktails himself, Anthony Palmer. Woo! <laughs> And today he'll be teaching us how to make his signature cocktail. So, what are you making us? So, today we're just basically making a really sweet cocktail. It's called um, A Kiss on the Lip. That's definitely it. I love my sweets. <laughs> well, it was meant to have dry ice, but um, <laughs> Health and Safety <laughs> didn't want us to use it, so... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no shade. 
So Anthony, what's your favorite cocktail? It's actually a purple rain as well. Hmm? He's got taste. No, you guys are just boring. You gotta keep it with mojito. Now I feel a bit gander for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can you like, like talk us through what you're doing? Yeah, um, that was basically um, a double shot of vodka. Yeah. A double shot of sugar syrup. Yeah. Um, I'm using some candy floss yeah. because um, if you didn't already know, um, the Skittles vodka is made from real Skittles, so you sort of have like a candy floss based vodka. Stop eating the sweet. I'm not sweet. <laughs> so earlier in on the show, we asked you guys to sweet us any cool pics, and we've had this sent in from Alex. She says, poor Nan wasn't too impressed with her free birthday cocktail. Oh, look at her poor Nan, bless her face. And Siobhan has tweeted in, telling us her favorite cocktail is sex on the beach. What my gal? I love, I love that drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, but we're going to sit down once he's finished and enjoy our cocktails. But first, a massive thank you for Anthony Palmer for joining us here today and teaching us some thank of his you, cocktail thank making you, magic. Thank you. Now, we made a promise earlier that it wouldn't be the last you saw of Finn, the researcher. And us here at The Buzz always keep to our promise. If you're a local Brummie like me... No, we can tell. Rude. <laughs> or if you have any sort of social media account, you've probably heard of the Nuxilla Challenge. We don't want to give too much away, but the challenge basically consists of a hell of a lot of chicken, uh. a week's worth of calories, mm -mm. and only 10 minutes to complete it. No, sir. At first, nobody agrees to try it, so who else better to force it than Finn, the researcher? Well, it's not like he had a choice. We sent Finn to Rob's Smokehouse here in Birmingham to attempt the massive Nugzilla challenge, and here is how we got on. I think he's gonna do it, you know. Hmm? Cheers. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Finn the Researcher and I'm here at Rub Smokehouse where I'm about to take on the Nugzilla Challenge. Let's do this. So basically the Nugzilla is roughly 85 chicken nuggets in one, so that's 6,000 calories. Uh, usually the challenge, we don't really get many people that have beat it. The best time so far has been 9 minutes 20. Um, the challenge is to eat under 10 minutes. Obviously, there are some rules. Um, you have a time for it to cool down before the challenge starts. Once you're ready, you just let us know and then we'll come out with a timer. You're not allowed to leave the table at any point. You're not allowed to have any help. You are allowed to have a drink. You can pause at any time, but the timer won't pause. Right, and your mark. Get set, go. <laughs> oh my God, it's so thick. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting the meat sweats. I need water. Yeah. Wow. Up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't do it. Unfortunately, I couldn't defeat the Nugzilla guys, but if you want to have a go, come now to Rub Smokehouse on Broad Street and give it a try. And here's Finn the Researcher in the studio with us now. Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> so Finn, my yes. oh my oh my. Trust me. I really, I just can't believe. It's just so gross. It was so disgusting. I don't know why I did it. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> you let me down. I'm really sorry. She really I was believed in you, you know. I, I, you know, did. I was literally like rooting <laughs> I tried for my you. hardest, but I just couldn't get through so that nugget. So thought that counts. So let me ask you this. So after eating that nugget, can you still eat chicken again? I would love to be able to be dramatic and say no, but I love chicken, so <laughs> of course I've eaten <laughs> chicken since. Oh <laughs> that is actually really, did you enjoy it? No, I really did not enjoy it. And <laughs> I don't like the fact that you sent me there, but I guess I have to deal with this kind experience, of stuff. Experience. Yeah, experience. it's the experience. <laughs> so, so the question we're all dying to hear from you yes. is, did you get sick? Well, 
There were a few burps. Mm. They were bordering on the edge. Well, they weren't. They're like, but you'll be happy to know I didn't get sick. Vomit free. Happy to know. We wanted you to be sick. We wanted you to be oh, sick. Sorry, That's guys. entertaining for us and the people at home. <laughs> okay, so what preparation did you do? If someone's doing this now, what would you tell them? Yeah, what advice? I'll tell you. When you get there, yeah. drink lots of water, ask for a drink. Yeah. Mm. And pretty much just go for it. Attack the chicken. Attack the chicken. <laughs> attack That's the what chicken. I'd say. Attack it. Would you do it again? Yeah, I would. I would. Yeah. If I got paid, then yeah. Which I'm not. <laughs> I'd like to remind you all, I'm not getting paid That's for this. That's so funny. <laughs> My gosh. Anyway, thank you so much to Finn the Research for yeah. coming in today. And also thank you to Anthony. But most importantly, thank you to all of you guys watching. Make sure you tune in next week for a show you definitely don't want to miss. Come We've on. got Ollie, the famous Instagram dog, coming in. And Finn will be returning to take on pole dancing. But for now, to say goodbye, we have a special performance from an up-and-coming band performing one of their newest hits, Jenny. would like to welcome onto the show, Tinned Astronauts! Woo!